Right, let's test, retest this thing. Um, I've done everything to this heli. I've fixed the swash. I've o-ringed the um, little ball joints on the swash plate. I've secured the top bearing into the swash that was floating out. Um, taken all the play out of the top rotor. Um, so it's got a little bit of end, end float now. One thing that I did find, and I researched and found this, is this the reason that it's doing the wash bowl effect i found i think i haven't tested it yet is because this here was binding it, it was still moving like i could still move it but as you can see that's really free now and what it was was this ball joint top and bottom i had to sand a bit off the to take the ball joint off and sand the actual ball on both those components and then I silicon sprayed it and now it's very very free so I can blow it and it's actually responding so this is I haven't tested this yet so this is um, quite a few hours <laughs> of work so we'll see if we can get this to run eh? okay transmitters on it to initialize okay it's initialized Put the battery pack in I hope this works but um, yeah I've spent a lot of time mucking around with it for a little heli it's been a little bit of trouble but I actually found a website that talked about this um, and I've balanced the bar I've got a little bit of Sellotape on the end of this one and actually the bar's balanced now I'll put it between a couple of credit cards and got it to actually Work properly, so I haven't trimmed it so We'll, we'll see how it goes Look at that. Beautiful. It still needs a little bit of trimming, but it's actually really good. Really good. Oh look at that, that is beautiful. That's excellent. Compared to how that was going. That's working awesome now. There's a little bit of back trim. Let's take it for a run. Oh, that's, that's really good. Really good.
It's a different bird now. Compared to what it was like. That needs a little bit of trimming. I'll get it over a bit. Needs a little bit of That's awesome. Fixed. So it was, if you ever get wash bowl effect, toilet bowl effect, it's the fly bar, okay? That's really steady now. Awesome. So yeah, this fly bar here has to be like, fall under its own weight basically. Because what was happening, was it was sensing that it was trying to, as, as it was flying one way, it was reacting too late because the fly bar was restricted. It didn't feel like it was that tight, but it has to be able to fall under its own weight, basically. So yeah, so those ball joints were the big one. I sprayed some silicon spray on it. And it's just like a bought one. Awesome.